Hello, I hope that you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me here today to explore and create. And today we are going to create tie-dye with some things that you might not usually associate with making tie-dye. So we're going to use permanent markers and we are going to use rubbing alcohol. Normally when we use permanent markers, we use them because you can't clean them away with soap and water but they are soluble in rubbing alcohol. And we are going to use that to help us make tie-dye. So what you'll need are permanent markers, rubbing alcohol, and then some type of clothing. I have a shirt here, you're gonna say, Mary, there's already a pattern on there. Yes, I made that already, but we are going to enhance it a little and add to it. So you'll see how the process works. And I'm going to use a piece of cardboard to help us. And we're going to have to act fast because my battery is going low already. So we're going to take that shirt and put the cardboard between the layers. That's going to protect the back side from leak through. So there is what I've started on already. Let me back it out just a little more. Bring it down a little. And so I'm going to continue on with the same colors that I've been using. So I used this pink and this green. So I've got the swirl and I'm just going to continue around. This does not have to be perfect, and if you want, you can just do intersecting spirals. So maybe that's what we'll do here. So I will start down here, making another spiral. And again, we don't need to worry about perfection, because it is all just going to blend in anyway. So what I did in this pattern was I did the pink and then I went back through and did green in the center. I'm actually off of the cardboard there a little bit, so I'm going to kind of run out there. All right, I'm going to go here. And we'll just do enough so you can get the general idea of what's going on here. Okay. And now, oh, let's run it down that way. Now we'll go through with the green. So how do we get this all melded together. We're going to use draw an eyedropper and drop the rubbing alcohol on and that's going to make it all go together. So if we do the lines a little thicker, it'll be a little thicker. If we do them a little thinner, it'll be a little thinner. And actually, I think I'm using a different green than I used the first time, but that is a-okay. And I'll just get more colors flowing through anyway. I 
kind of like to work it so that I am creating that arc in the same direction. So even if I have to go back and fill it in, I'll do that sometimes too. Time to do this one. If you use the broad side like that, you get a thicker layer of marker. And you might notice I'm actually using my right hand and my left hand, my non-dominant hand. But it's not going to matter that much because we're not going for perfection here, like we said. We're just trying to get the colors on so that we can blend them. So a nice layer of color is always good. Oop, we hit the edge there. There we go. And the green's going to run off that time. And I'm going to come back around this way because that's going to be easier to make the arc. All right, let's do it. And we're just going to start dropping. The more rubbing alcohol you use, the better it's going to move through. So I'm kind of dumping a lot on here. I also like to go from different directions and then you get the pattern moving around a little more. So it's not all one-sided. But get it soaking pretty good. The other cool thing that you will notice is that while we started with two shades of green and some pink, we're getting other colors coming out in there too. So the blues are coming out. The pigment in the markers, or the ink in the markers, is made from different colors. We'll get some more squirted on. We'll get it all nice and wet. We'll let you have a look at it. And after it dries, you can go back and do some touch-ups if you'd like. So I'm probably going to later go in and fill in the sides where the color, where there's not as much color. Let's just look at a couple things. We've got a lot of color moving through there. A lot of color there as well. You can see the motion of the color, which is pretty cool. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed tie-dye with permanent markers and rubbing alcohol. I hope that you will give it a try. It's actually a lot of fun. And for some reason, tie-dye just to me embodies summer. So I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you will join us again. We will be back next week with more Explore and Create and I hope that you'll join us then. Thank you so much, and I hope that you continue to use your curiosity to explore the world and your creativity to improve it. And thank you!